What's going on everybody and welcome back to our latest episode of Combat Tips. Today's video is going to be covering a pretty consistently requested topic that I see in the comments and that is, of course, stage brutalities. As I've been saying folks, you can also catch all of these videos over on my Protoplay channel, link down in the description. It's been a great way to archive my combat tip tutorials just in case YouTube's consistently changing terms of services decide to either block or straight up remove any of these videos, you'll always be able to find them over there. We're going to be covering seven different brutalities today, and as per usual, if you folks are here to see anyone in particular, you're welcome to go on down to the description or the comments where you can find timestamps to help you skip to any of the ones I feature in today's video. And additionally, if you need a combat guide to help you convert any of the controls I say in today's video, have at it. So for this tutorial, character choices do not matter, it is only the stages we want to focus on. So of course, I'll be covering the top row first, bottom row second, beginning of course with the Deadpool. Alright folks, so here we are, center stage. For this one, we're going to head over to the right. As you can see, there's a rope on the ground. If you pull that, acid falls from the sky. Now for this to work best, I would suggest putting your opponent right next to that little broken pillar in the background. And then, when of course you push R1 or right button to pull this rope, you're going to want to hold down. Alright, so make sure you hold down during this animation. And if all goes well, you should get... Oh. Here we go. Woo! extra toasty. So there we have it folks. Next up is the Special Forces Desert Command. So this stage actually has two brutalities. Now we're going to be starting off with the one that's actually right here at the center. As you can see there's a skull on the ground. Now when you interact with that you throw it and with this particular brutality you don't actually have to hold any direction but you do want to make sure that when you finish your opponent they are a good distance away. This should be a good example right here but again no button to hold just use your interact button respectfully and as you can see oof got our brutality. <laughs> I really like this one. It's, it's, it's a good comedic relief if you ask me. Alright everybody, so now for brutality number two, we're going to want to be all the way to the far right of the stage over here. As you can see, there's a vehicle behind Jax, and once we push our interact button, make sure you hold up during that interaction, alright? Up. Here we go. Holding up. Boom, and... Oh, boom. <laughs> I'm actually a big fan of this one because it reminds me of the MKX days when they eventually added X-rays that could transition into brutalities. I always thought that was super cool, a very nice, uh, you know, just super extreme way to kill the opponent. But hey, maybe we'll see more of those in the future. For now, though, great start. Next stop, Black Dragon Fight Club. Alright everybody, so let's take Kano a little left from center stage here, and as you can see there's a chainsaw on the ground. Of course, as usual, you're going to want to hit your respective interact button, but while that's happening, you need to push down down twice as quick as you can. It has to be pretty much immediately, otherwise this brutality will not work. Again, down down very quickly, and if it all goes to plan... Oh right through the opponent like that. I really like how the blood splashes on the screen too. Again, just really nice little attention to detail bits with some of these brutalities that I can't help but enjoy. On to the next one. Heading over to Shinnok's Bone Temple. So for this brutality, we're going to be all the way to the far right of the stage and we want to interact with Shinnok's amulet embedded in the wall. Now when you go and push that interact button, you're going to want to push forward two times as quick as you can. So forward, forward. If you ask me, just spam it. But again, much like the chainsaw one we just did, it has to be immediately. So let's go for it. Again, forward, forward. I'm just going to be spamming it. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> This one's good, uh, nothing too crazy, I think we have seen a couple kind of like this where it, you know, blows a hole through the chest. It's, it, it looks good, don't get me wrong, it's always nice and satisfying when you can finish someone with this. It's just, uh, as uh, some of the animations go that we saw previously, I thought those were cooler. On to the next one. Time to go for a swim at the Sea of Blood. So for this brutality, we're going to be heading over to the left side of the stage where a interactable starfish is resting on the rock. There are no inputs you need to hold for this one or push any directions. All we got to do is throw it with the interact button and you want to make sure, much like the skull throwing brutality we did earlier, that your opponent is a far distance away. That should do it. So again, just hit the interact button while your opponent is far away and you should get Whoa, that right there. <laughs> oh man, there's something so like creepy crawly about that. I'm actually going to show you also, this brutality has a slight different visual variation if your opponent is on the other side. Same exact scenario folks, opponent is far away, but this time they're on the left side, and as a result... 
It goes in more like a ninja star, but oh gross. It's all the creepy crawly to me the same. It's just like something about a living creature replacing an appendage of the body is just very parasitic to me. But very cool all the same. On to our final brutality for today. As I said, our final stop for today, the Shaolin Trap Dungeon. All right, folks, so here we are all the way to the far right of the stage. As you can see, we have our lion in the background. That will be our interactive object today. As usual, just hit your interact button, R1, right button, whatever it may be, and you're gonna wanna mash either square or X while that is happening, okay? So square or X, mash it during your interaction. Let's go for it. I'm just gonna show you right here. I'm mashing that button, and boom, torched. <laughs> Again, the animation is nothing too crazy. I think we've seen, you know, stuff like this before with other brutalities and other interactions, but I'm always open to more variation, especially when it means getting more money out of our characters, out of our stages. I appreciate it, and I love when the devs go the extra mile just to kind of give us more to play with. So, works for me. Let's move on to our outro, folks. So there we have it, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial today. Our next one will probably be a little bit more of a traditional character-based brutality tutorial. Hint, hint, probably at the Joker here since I have his whole arsenal ready to go. If you did happen to enjoy the video today, feel free to leave me some feedback down below, either in the form of a like or a comment. And if you're new to the channel, do feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications. I do really appreciate it, and you can catch content that comes out in the future. Once again, I will be archiving this video and all future videos onto my ProtoPlay channel, so feel free to check that out in the description down below. Just your viewership alone does a lot of great service to both me and the company, so thank you very much for your time. That's going to do it for today, folks. Again, thank you so, so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Your viewership, your comments, your interactions, they all mean so much to me and the progression of this channel. So until next time, stay safe and stay happy. Adios.